Hello ladies. Hello gents. Thank you all for being here today. My name is Mira Skinner and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. So today's video is actually a very, very, very highly requested video. Like you could all see from the title, we are talking about feminine hygiene. I have gotten several requests about doing a video on feminine hygiene from both males and females, but I'll read one from a female. She said, we look at routine hygienic practices as if it's associated with a particular class. We need education, especially women in Africa are lacking. I have listened and watched your professionalism and style. I am confident that you will pass it well onto us on your channel. She especially um, read this one because she did not only ask me to do a video about feminine hygiene, she also talked about my professionalism which gave me like another perspective about the way that I do videos and the way that I just share and educate all of us about all the things that we need to do to make ourselves better, better versions of ourselves, better than who we were yesterday. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that message. And there is one thing that you said, you said this is something that is lacking, especially in Africa. Um, I just want to put this out there. This is not only in Africa. It is a woman thing. It is thing. It is something that is happening in every part of the world because the other messages that I have gotten are not even from people in Africa. You understand? So this is something that is global. This is something that affects every woman if they do not take measures on curbing this. So let's dive right in and go into the topic. But before we do that, please hit on that um, subscription button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we do have new uploads. Ladies, let me just put this out there. Your vagina is your glory. It is your flower. It is who you are, right? It is what makes you. When you were born, how did the nurses know that you're a male or female? They were able to tell this because of your vagina. When they saw that you had a vagina, you came in with that glory. They knew that this is a woman and she will become powerful. Ladies, there is something called, um, pH balance. The pH balance of a woman, it refers to her vulva, which is the external part of her vagina and the vagina, which is the internal canal. When this is off balance, that is when you start having all these issues. That is when you start seeing that, okay, I am having this smell, fishy smell, or you start having like a foul scent down there. The way that you can tell that your pH balance is off is when you start seeing your discharge is abnormal. What do I mean by abnormal? When your discharge is, um, it is yellowish, it is greenish, it is brownish. That is when you know that something is wrong. As a woman, you need to smell yourself. This is something that we need to talk about every day. We need to educate the masses about. As a woman, don't be shy. Don't lose confidence in yourself because you feel like you cannot talk about these things or you feel like you cannot ask somebody who knows better about it, right? You have to educate yourself about your vagina because your vagina is a part of you that makes you a woman. It's a part of you that you have to guard preciously. But I tend to see that this is something that is neglected the most. Another way for you to know that your pH balance is off is when you have an itchy around the vagina area or also you have some irritation or you just have some foamy discharge that is coming out of you. That is when you know that you have to take measures. Feminine hygiene is a lifestyle. It is something that you need to take seriously. The first way for you to properly take care of your cookie, of your vagina or however you want to call it, is for you to hydrate. It is very important that as women, we hydrate, 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 because water is something that helps you. It helps even with your skin, your hair, and your nails, not only your vagina. Because say, for example, when you're going to the bathroom and you want to pee, right? And you notice that your pee has this foul smell. You notice that your pee is colorful. Like sometimes it is so orange or it is yellow. That is because you are not hydrating. And when you're not hydrating, your pee is going to stink. 
if your pee stinks that is how your vagina is going to stink as well because water is something that flushes out toxins from your body it flushes out all the things that are not wanted in your body so it is very crucial for you to hydrate personally i didn't like to drink water a lot before i just drank water for the sake of drinking water but now it is something that i take seriously i make sure that i drink a good amount of water each day because i know how beneficial it is for my well-being for your overall well-being especially if you're someone that is prone to acne we're not talking about acne i'm just making you understand that how powerful water is it is essential for you to drink water all the time especially when you get up in the morning the first thing you want to do is drink water that is after you pray drink water because it is that necessary for your body your body's ph balance is also referred to the level of acidity and the level of alkalinity in your body and the body is naturally built to maintain those levels but because of the things that we eat because of the things that we do and the changes in the environment we have to take measures to make sure that we have a regular ph balance right so the next way that you have to take to maintain your feminine hygiene is to make sure that your vagina is always clean around the vagina is always shaved ladies i see some people say that they cannot shave the vagina why don't you want to shave it hair is prone to have bacteria it traps bacteria it traps sweat it traps all this nasty stuff that you don't want to let going on down there so it is very important for you to make sure that you always keep that place airy always keep it very nice and clean make sure that you shave why don't you want to shave are you trying to braid are you trying to braid down there that is not where you braid so why are you trying to grow hair there you want to make sure that you keep that place very very clean because your vagina has sweat glands not just your pit your vagina has sweat glands that is prone to sweat so because it has sweat glands it is always sweating so that is why it's very important for you to shave that area keep that valley clean make sure that it is well shaved if it is not something that you can do by yourself because i personally i do that by myself because i have a beak that i use to clean all the time but if that's something that you cannot do by yourself you can always pay someone to do that because there are spars there are places where you can go and have somebody shave for you and they're going to shave it properly because when you start keeping it moist when you start keeping it wet that is how you get infections that is how you get your vagina smelling like fish that is how you get it irritating because you are not shaving it properly, you're not keeping it clean. I can't for the life of me imagine having all this hair around there. No, 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 I just cannot. You have to keep that clean, ladies. You really have to, and teach your sisters as well, teach your kids as they're growing up and they start getting all these pubic hairs. Make sure that you make them start feeling confident about themselves because another thing that I have noticed is because of insecurities. People, because they do not take care of themselves, they become insecure. You want to have confidence in yourself. That is your glory, ladies. It is your glory. It is yours to protect, to guide, to woo. And you want to make sure that you're keeping it neat. Because I don't see a reason why a woman will be all glammed up and she'll be looking so good. But then her vagina is all down there so sweaty and so mushed. Say, for example, right, this scenario, if you take an orange, right, and you put it in an area that is sweaty and an area that is moist it is going to become mold right so say that you put leave your vagina to become this tight and you have all this um hair on there that is the same thing that is going to happen to your vagina that is why it tends to have this smell because you're letting it so tight and you're not airing it hygiene is not for a certain class of people so rather than spending your money on things that you do not need, spend your money on taking proper care of yourself because your body is your temple. Your body is what you got and your body is something that you have to take care of. Next point, ladies, is your butt. Yes. There are many people, even as grown as they are, they do not know how to clean their butt properly. Ladies, we are not men. Men the butthole is very far from their penis and they don't tend to get infections as much as we do so i have my um my daughter's door right here right 
this is a doll and i'm just going to use this because this is the easiest thing for me to show you so this is a lady right this is her vagina okay so this is a butthole like right here your butthole is like right around here so if you're going to the toilet and you're doing your number one and then you decide that you're going to clean your butt like this you're taking poop from here and you're putting it into your vagina that you don't want to do because like i said it is your glory you have to protect it with everything that you got when you go to the bathroom and you use the bathroom do your number one what you want to do is clean your it's called your perineal area you want to clean it properly you want to make sure that you're wiping from the front to the back do not wipe from the back to the front because your vagina like i said if you do that you're going to put things in here that you don't want to so always clean from here to the backward and even when you go to pee and you want to clean yourself up because it is very necessary for you to clean up after you pee don't just go there and pee and then you put on your underwear without cleaning up because that is how you get infections like i said that place needs to be very very dry ladies do not let it be moist it is very sensitive so always clean from front to back that way you know that you're cleaning properly now that we are on the topic of cleaning your butt and cleaning your vagina properly when you use the bathroom it is very important for you to know that when you go use the bathroom don't only use tissues because sometimes there are some tissue papers that can really irritate you if you do not have tissue paper that are cotton it is going to irritate you so even when you're buying your tissue make sure that you invest in cotton tissue papers that way you don't have all this irritation and also invest in some baby wipes they are not expensive guys if you do not have the feminine wipes invest in baby wipes and make sure that every wipes that you have is fragrance free this one that i have here it says um fragrance free clean wipes ph balance dermatologically tested gentle on skin this one there are just 32 of them in here i got this from target but anywhere in the world you do have baby wipes so get yourself some baby wipes that way you're always fresh you're always cleaning yourself and make sure that you don't put anything in your vagina that has fragrance because when you do that you get irritation i see some people um they actually use perfumes down there no your vagina is that place where you don't want to be putting in things that you're not supposed to put in there ladies i'm begging you do not let me make you do crazy things because some men they are out there they can make you have so much low self-confidence they can make you have low self-esteem in such a way that you go ahead and start putting things in your vagina that you're not supposed to be putting in there know that your vagina is never going to be smelling like flowers it's never going to smell like cookies because your vagina is not big good you understand so don't let a man make you start putting things on there that you're not supposed to be putting your vagina is not a place for you to spray perfumes. It is not a place for you to put in fragrance or scented things. It's not a place for you to put in things that are not supposed to go in there. It is not a place for you to wash with soap. Yes, you can wash around it with soap, but make sure that it's a soap that is gentle on the skin and it's fragrance free. It is for sensitive skin. But when it comes to your vagina inside, like your internal self, do not be putting things in there because that is how you get irritation that is how you get infection do not do that it is not good for you and it is very important for you to understand that as a woman you have to be able to carry yourself to a certain level you have to have barriers you have to have boundaries set the standards for yourself don't let men or any other person talk you down or make you do something that you know for sure that is going to harm you make sure that you do things that you know that are protecting you and protecting your confidence it is very very important for you to do that next point ladies you want to make sure that you're eating right make sure that you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables because like they say you are what you eat what you eat is going to determine how your vagina is going to smell make sure that you're consuming a lot of lot of lot of pineapples and cranberry because that helps with your ph balance that helps your vagina especially if you're already married and then you're already having sex then you want to make sure as a woman you can you consume pineapples you don't want to be in a situation where 
your husband cannot go down there because it is not fresh for him he cannot go down there because he doesn't find it pleasant it doesn't smell natural you want to make sure that you're consuming these pineapples because it helps with the kind of discharge that you get down there it's very important because when you're having cranberry juice or you're having just a raw cranberry, it helps you a lot. In parts of the world that there is no cranberry, stock up on pineapple. Make sure that you drink pineapple juice, the fresh one that you've made. If you cannot chew on the flesh of the pineapple, you can drink the pineapple juice because that is going to help you. It's going to boost your confidence. It's even going to help you lose some weight because each time that I'm trying to lose weight, girl, I always put in some pineapples in there because that is what cuts you down. It helps you maintain that size so you want to make sure that you're eating right you want to make sure that yes you can go out there and have fun you can eat all every other thing that you like but make sure that it has some balance and you're getting in the right nutrients next point ladies because your pad says that it can last for up to eight hours that doesn't mean that you have to wear a pad for up to eight hours when you're on your period your vagina is very raw so you want to make sure that you're protecting it. You want to make sure that you're changing your pads and your tampons as frequently as possible because when you leave that blood to stick in there, that's how you get infection. When you leave that blood to stick in there, blood is something, not even only blood from your period. Every blood, you've noticed that if you have blood on a piece of clothing and it stays in there, it starts stinking. It's the same way. Just imagine you having your vagina right here and you're having your pad underneath it, then your underwear and the thing is like cushion around your vagina is really tight on there and then you leave it for longer periods of time it's going to start stinking so you want to make sure that if you're on your period always make sure that you change and each time you change if you're not somewhere that you can just like use water to flush make sure that you carry wipes like i said earlier on so that you can wipe properly because toilet tissue is not gonna cut it sometimes you need something that is going to go in there hardcore you want to make sure that you carry these wipes along that way you can wipe yourself and then you're fresh again so it is very important and sometimes when you're in your period make sure that you carry an extra set of panties because that way you know that if you need it you have it right ladies we are gonna get ourselves so fresh and boost our confidence right up there i get it ladies it is um a crazy world that we are living in right now things are just going upside down people are dying so young things are just getting crazy they're getting out of hand and this is causing a lot of stress it is causing a lot of um depression all those social media blowing everything that is going on but the least that we can do is just to you know take care of yourself because stress is something that can upset your ph balance like crazy because when you're stressed, too many things are going on in your mind. Too many things are going on in your body and your body is changing. So you want to keep your stress levels at bay. Because when you keep your stress levels at bay, then you're able to maintain a good pH balance. And when you're able to maintain a good pH balance, then you're able to keep yourself down there clean. Because when your pH balance is good, you don't have those smells. You don't have those issues that are happening with you. So it is very important for you to make sure that you reduce your stress levels and Thing that you know that is for sure going to disturb your peace of mind anything that you know that is gonna bother you try your best to stay away from it because this is how you get your body messed up and then things start happening because you can think that because we are talking about feminine hygiene it means that on that it means that clean people don't get this issue they do get these issues because other things are happening in their lives that is making them to get this issue so Talking about feminine hygiene is just for us to be able to know the basics. But there are other things that can happen to us and other things that can happen to you. Even if you're the cleanest person, you can still get those things. If you're stressed, if you're going through something mentally that is upsetting your body's pH balance. So it is very important for you to maintain healthy stress levels. Next point, ladies. As females, we do discharge, right? So you want to make sure that you have pants liners it is very important for you to always have pants liners that way you don't stain your pants because when you have pants liners it protects that barrier it gives you a barrier between your vagina and your underwear that way if you have some discharge that is going on there you can just peel it out and put it in the trash and then put on some fresh ones and make sure that when you're getting panty liner do not get synthetic panty liners get panty liners that are made out of cotton because when you have those it protects you it is very breathable 
because you want to wear stuff that are breathable when you're having those panty liners i personally i i use this one it is called um honey pot and this is how it looks this is a new pack i've used it just a couple of times because the old one i ran out this is how it looks inside you know and then you want to pull that out and use it this one actually um it is herbal and organic it says 100 percent organic cotton cover everyday liners and it has some aloe and mint infused into it each time i use it oh my god i it gives you that you know that tingling kind of nice feeling or if you're someone who is allergic to aloe vera you want to go for the plain cotton panty liners that way you're always fresh down there it is very important and now that we are on the topic of panty liners make sure that you're wearing cotton panties cotton is a girl's best friend you don't want to be wearing underwear that is made out of silk you want to wear underwear that has cotton in it or also the ones that has lace i personally i am not a fan of grandma panties even though they are very good for you so i opt for the other option the one that actually has like cotton at the bottom and has lace around it i'll show you guys an example so right here if you look at these panties it it, it, it has like lace around it and when you have panties that has lace around it, it it makes sure that you don't have ingrown hairs because when you put it on it is still breathable for you to be able to you know for your hair to grow properly and not wearing tight stuff that are going to make it so tight and you also want to make sure that the, the the bottom on the hair is very very cotton it's made out of cotton because if you're wearing something that is silk imagine silk it is not breathable and because your vagina like I earlier on said it has um sweat glands when you wear that it's going to be sweaty and then you will not be fresh and then you start having all these issues that we are trying to avoid so it is very important for you to wear um panties that are having um you know they have some lace or just plain cotton if you're somebody that you only want to wear thongs i have another one here this one it is pure cotton and it is a thong so you want to make sure that you wear the ones that are breathable because every underwear that is not breathable is not going to help you and you want to make sure that um the back of it is something that lays outside and doesn't get into your butthole because if it's getting into your butthole it traps bacteria because you always have to constantly take your hand to pull it out and your hands are very dirty your hands you touch your phone you touch things every day and they are dirty so you don't want to be having panties that you have to constantly put your hand into it because you're going to take dead from the outside wall and put it in your glory that you do not do not absolutely do not want that to so make sure that you invest in panties that are really really breathable and good for the your vagina and make sure that it is not moist it is always breathing next up ladies make sure that you always incorporate probiotics in your life it is going to be a life changer it is going to save you from all those unwanted things that you don't want down there in your body in your system because this is it is not a medication it's actually um like a vitamin it is you see this is a probiotic this is the one that i use it i take one every day because i want to make sure that i am having a good digestive system because with probiotics it helps with your immune support it helps with digestive health because when you do have a good digestive system that also helps with your ph balance it also helps you down there and also your respiratory health it is very very important every woman should invest in probiotics because it is going to help you and also when i met my um gynecologist she said the more billions that it has the better because probiotics is actually good bacteria your body has bad bacteria and it has good bacteria the reason why you're having some illnesses is because the bad bacteria is trying to overcome the good bacteria that's why you have all those issues but when you have good bacteria in your body it really really helps you guys i am not a doctor i am not a health professional but this is the best that i know and it is because i see my doctors all the time and i also read up on this stuff so you want to make sure that you're taking probiotics the higher the billions the better this one actually contains 13 billion so and it is not an expensive pro probiotic you want to make sure that you have it incorporated into your routine that way you know for a fact that you're staying healthy if you're 21 and over you want to make sure that you have pap smears you want to budget for that because if you're in a country where you do not have um, insurance because in the western world your insurance is going to cover 
pap smears but if you're in a country where you do not have insurance and you have to pay everything out of pocket for your health you want to make sure that you invest in pap smears it is only once in three years or once in two years that way you also know you check yourself because what they do during these past smear sessions is that they check your vagina, they check the health around there, they also check for cervical cancer and all those things. So because if you're seeing your doctor all the time, they'll be able to catch any kind of disease in the early stages. But if you stay out there and you're going for years and years and years without seeing a doctor or a gynecologist, then you're not able to tell if you're really, really healthy. So you want to make sure that you're always doing this so that you can be able to be on top of your gain ladies it is so so important go out there ladies take care of yourself take care of your health take care of your baby girl take care of your cookie take care of your glory because that is who you are that is what you have and it is your place to protect it this is very important for you to do this and boost your self-confidence because when you know for a fact that you got it good going down there then there's nothing that anybody can say to you we are powerful we are strong we are beautiful and we should go ahead and take care of ourselves thank you so much for watching today's video ladies do not forget to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell that way you know when we do have new uploads and if you're a guy watching this video make sure you pass on this video to a sister pass it on to a friend pass it on to every woman in your life if you're a girl make sure that you share this video as well thank you guys and have a fab one you know that i love you very much stay blessed take care and be fabulous bye